gentleman from Tennessee, Congressman Mark Green. You might remember him from television fame. He questioned Michael Cohen during his public congressional hearing on Wednesday. Uh, Congressman, uh, I get the Republicans want to push back on everything that House Democrats are doing, but uh, you don't need me, need, need me to remind you that you're in the minority now. Is there much you can do other than use your five minutes to question aggressively and then come on TV and talk about it? Yeah, I think what we're going to do is just draw a contrast between, you know, how they're acting now and how we act when we're in the majority. I mean, this is basically an abuse of power. I mean, they're, they're going to go. They couldn't find anything. You know, they took a fake dossier to create an investigation, couldn't find any collusion. Uh, and now they're, they've got a fake witness, Mike, Michael Cohen, and they're trying to build this impeachment proceeding. Well, uh, they're going to investigate everything. It's a microscope that no politician should ever go through, unless there's probable cause, well, of course. Con there's none Congressman, here. it's fair to say that Republicans, when they were in the majority, held uh, their fair share of hearings into Barack Obama and parts of his life. When Republicans were in the majority uh, back during the Clinton administration, they certainly held a lot of hearings back then, too. Well, absolutely. We investigated things like, you know, what happened in Benghazi. That's appropriate, don't you think? I mean, I, I think that was the right thing for us to do. All those missing emails with smashed cell phones, I think that's appropriate to investigate. We probably didn't investigate that enough. Um, so but you're we're saying not digging into so, so every business that, deal wait. that Obama did. You know, we're not looking at every business deal Barack Obama did. And no, but certainly if Barack Obama's former personal attorney had testified before you all and said that there were uh, inappropriate activities by him before he was president, you don't think House Republicans would have been salivating at that? Well, I know this, the guy they did bring, the best witness they got, their star guy last week lied five times to the IRS, cheated on his taxes, defrauded banks, and uh, lied to Congress, and they're going to bring him before us as a testimony, you know, to provide testimony. I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all to me. Okay, fair enough. He, uh, he comes back uh, for testimony uh this coming week now. You also now have uh, the House Judiciary Committee chairman uh, talking about their own investigations. We heard from Garrettini, 60 plus witnesses now being subpoenaed. Uh, in a way, though, it seems as though Democrats are trying to find proof of what they've already decided. Take a listen and then we'll get re your reaction. Okay. You think the president obstructed justice? Yes, I do. If it, it's very clear that the president obstructed justice. It's very clear. Uh, 1,100 times he referred to the Mueller investigation as a witch hunt. What happened to uh, innocent until proven guilty? No, I couldn't agree more with you on that. I mean, they are, I heard some clips yesterday calling his company a, a, a mafia organization. I mean, this is ridiculous. They're just going to keep re repetition saying, hoping, hoping that people will believe it. It's like Bush lied, people died. If you say it enough, people will believe it. That's their modus operandi. Meanwhile, the president's working on the economy, trying to get people jobs, overseas I, trying to negotiate peace deals, and all they can I, do is attack this guy's character and his business dealings. It's absurd. I, I, I go back to the, the original question, though. When you're in the minority, aside from coming on and talking about it and presenting, as you say, another side, is there really anything that House Republicans can do, or do you just sort of have to sit back and let Democrats uh, take, their, uh, take their swings? You know, I think we show the hypocrisy of it and introduce the people to the American, to the to the real Democrat mm. Party. You know, the other day in the committee, Tlaib, uh, Congressman Tlaib, or Congresswoman Tlaib, attacked Mark Meadows, yeah. for called him a racist, and then we turn around and just show, no, wait a minute, you're out there creating a list of everybody who doesn't believe exactly the way you well, do? It, you're, you're the person who has not, no diversity. Not to relitigate that, but I think you'd have to probably uh, give... Uh, give a nod to Congressman and Chairman uh, Cummings on that. He, he did the noble thing and defended Mark Meadows, his friend, absolutely. All right. All right. Uh, Congressman Green, appreciate your time, sir. All the best. Uh, Thanks, Down Lee, in Lee. Tennessee as uh, spring turns down there. We'll Here. see Molly. Right now.